So uh, this is crucial mistakes my clients make in the gym. And uh, these are things you want to listen to and you want to pay attention to. So we don't make the same mistakes and we can improve upon our goals in the gym. Let's go. Okay, so first one is rounding your back while doing deadlifts or doing rows. I believe almost all my clients have done this at one point. And yes, the first time it is tough to get your back straight when you're doing deadlifts or rows. When doing this, we get injuries, back strains, all kinds of nasty stuff if our form is off. So it's really, really important that we do not round our backs while doing any type of barbell, dumbbell rows or deadlifts. It's, it's very important that we don't do that to avoid back strains. I try to be nice enough, even though it's obvious. I can never help Yeah, I'm trying to get a little bit of shelter from the rain right now, but um, <laughs> so another mistake I see a lot with my clients when they want to lose weight, gain muscle, is paying attention to the scale too much. If you look at the scale one day, choose every single day, you're gonna drive yourself crazy, you're gonna drive yourself mad, but it's not worth it to check it every single day, which is why, as a trainer, good to check it away, you know, once a week, once every two weeks. But not every day, man. Like, you want to lose weight, the skill will drive you nuts. So, just check it once a week and just look at the mirror and say, okay, like, how do I look today versus how I looked one week ago or how I looked one month ago? Just look at that first. And then after that, we can see results from there. If you do want to the skill, fine, do it. Just know it's probably going to drive you crazy. I'm not saying you should never, ever check the scale or you should never check it every single day but if you do check it every day just don't let the numbers get to your head and make sure you are checking it first thing in the morning i am pretty soaked right now man <laughs> uh no drone today probably if this keeps up no drone, it's supposed to rain all the rest of the day, so shoot. <laughs> you know what though guys? You know what though? We gotta get those dope angles though. These dope angles are worth it. Trust me. I literally do anything to get these videos after you guys. Trust me. Anything in the rain, dope angles all day. <laughs> Let's go. Also guys, if you are just starting with this is all like what? If y'all are just starting in the gym, just make sure that you first of all get into a split three days per week. Do not go any more than that. You will mostly plateau. My lens is still a little bit wet, but uh, you will mostly plateau. And at the end of the day, we don't want to plateau. We want to see consistent progress. So start three days a week. First and foremost, chest, shoulders, arms, back and biceps, legs. After that, move to like four days per week. Maybe like, I don't know, full body or upper lower splits. Just make sure that you are increasing your volume and frequency each and every week as well as the weight you're using. Oh, look at my shoes. No, this is why I give come out in the rain, dude. It's okay. We can clean them off. All right. Let's go, let's go and clean them off. So can y'all see now why I was in the structure? It's freaking raining outside. It's been raining like all day, dude. And it's gonna rain all night as well. So it's gonna be, well, yeah. Anyways, okay, so their mistake my clients make all the time, I see, is when they do curls, they swing their elbows, man. Back and up like this. I'm like, dude, come on. Why, we're not working the shoulders, we're working the biceps, okay? So if you guys know, when you do a curl, you wanna have your elbows in, not swing up or down. You want them in, coming up and down. This is how it goes. We need to work the bicep more and this way we get that full retraction instead of just swinging back and forth. We are using other muscles if we do that. This is known as a synergistic dominance where 
a muscle takes over for the prime mover. So for example, like the tricep would probably be, to be taking over for the bicep in that, in that case scenario. And also the shoulder, even though we want to work the bicep as much as possible during curls. Another thing is you want to get full range of motion on the way down on the curl, instead of just going halfway down, halfway up. So even if you do spin your elbows, you're gonna lose range of motion on the way down just cause your elbow can extend down because it's moving back. So in that case, you want the full range of motion and you want the curls to feel like they're, they're tough, you know? If you, if you involve with the muscles, it's not gonna feel as tough. Uh, you're not gonna get it as you have a squeeze on the bicep, whether if you just activated your biceps more by keeping your elbows in place. I try to be nice enough. every single one of y'all watching my videos. It means a ton to know y'all support what I do. I want to take a second to give a shout out to Rob G once again. Rob, I thank you for your continued support on the videos, dude. Thank you so much for supporting what I do, man. It means a lot. But guys, uh, I shout out a random subscriber every single video and you don't want to miss it because a lot of y'all are not subscribed, man, and y'all need to subscribe. If you guys are enjoying the content so far, make sure you smash that subscribe button and destroy that like button so I know y'all are enjoying the videos and we can push it out to more people who need to see this content, the best content on YouTube. And <laughs> let's go. I'm going home now. I'll see y'all in the next video. I love y'all so much. See y'all in the next one.